Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa Orr of Yaya Yoga CA and I'm going to show us how to play the yoga dice game. It's a different version than you may have heard um, and we're doing it as part of Mindfulness Month Yoga for Kids and Families. Um, so let's get started. So you'll need two fuzzy dice. You'll need a um, yoga card deck um, that has yoga poses on it. You'll need to either label the pose if um, it doesn't have it labeled. And I numbered them from one to six, and I use little stickies here for that. So to get started, and I made this version for um, a larger group of kids. If you're working with like eight kids or more, um, and that's why I created this. So um, we'll start with just one dice. Um, this will generally be for kids that are ages two and a half um, to maybe seven, two and a half to ages seven. Um, so we'll start with one dice, sit in a circle. Teacher starts first, roll the dice. We got a one. One is downward dog. So as a group, we do downward dog. Then the next person goes, they roll the dice. We got a six. So the next person who rolled would do, we would do as a group, number six, which is tree. Easy, yeah? Well, what I found is sometimes the same number gets rolled over and over and over again, and the kids kind of get bored with doing the same poses over again. So I created a, um, a different part two to the game. So as you're playing, um, let's pretend that I rolled a one, then this kid rolled a six, and then the third kid rolls a one again. Well, we already did downward dog, so that kid um, will get to choose from the yoga book. So this yoga book has yoga poses in it that I pre-labeled um, one to six. So I chose six poses that I wanted the group to do and labeled them with little stickies here. It's just masking tape um, that, that, that we'll do together. So they roll the number one. We don't need to do downward dog anymore. We already did it. So I take it away and they get to find it in the book. And the book and the pose is boat pose. So we do boat pose together. Okay, and then um, the next kid goes, they roll, and then say we get a number one again. So we did downward dog number one, we did number one in the book, which was boat pose. That means it's Yogi's Choice. So Yogi's Choice is the most exciting part of the game. If they get to make up a yoga movement, and we do it together, or we can do their favorite yoga pose. It could even be a favorite yoga breath. It could be belly breath. whatever it is, yeah. So you go around the entire circle and the very last yogi, you'll take away all the cards and you'll place out the Shavasana cards. So these are guided visualization cards. You'll set them in the circle. The last yogi rolls the dice. Let's say they rolled a two. They find card number two. Card number two is light rest. And then the teacher would get them into Shavasana and read them the guided visualization for Shavasana. Well, if you have older kids that you're working with, ages seven and up, um, if you wanted to include a little bit of mathematics into the game, oh, I'm gonna need these. You'll label cards one to 12. So you'll start with all the cards one to 12 laid out on the ground in a circle. And it's the same um, same idea here. So. You can't see those. Ah, there we go. Um, so then the teacher starts first. Um, I usually like to do maybe half the circle with one dice and then surprise, we'll get to do two dice. So then the teacher, um, you know, lets them know it's okay to be disappointed that you only got to roll one dice this time, but the next time we play, you'll get to do it again. So really quickly, I only have about 45 seconds. So you'll get to roll both of these dice. You add them together, four plus three equals seven. So we find card number seven, which is ostrich, and we do the pose together, yeah? Um, same rules apply. If we roll the seven again, then we get to choose from the yoga book. Older kids don't wanna really use a younger kid's preschooler book. So I found an older kid's book that has um, the yoga poses in here. So I just kind of put stickies in here. We find pose number seven, it's bridge pose, and we do bridge pose together. Yeah, 
Um, that's because we already did ostrich. We don't need to do ostrich. So we're going to do bridge pose together. Um, and there's a nice poem here the kids can read out loud to the group or the teacher can read out loud to the group. And that's pretty much it. Same goes for the end of the end of the class. You put all the um, yoga cards away. The last yoga yogi gets to roll the dice and choose the last um, guided shavasana, number six. So they choose number six. We read it together, all over rest. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this quick version of the yoga dice game. A longer version will be available on my YouTube channel if you want a few more tips and ideas. But um, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.